Hi, I'm Stephen Shiflett, and in this Word on the Street video, our topic is leadership and organizational communication. So for this video specifically, I will be discussing transactional leadership, and shortly I'll be able to show you an example of this leadership style in a clip. Um, so transactional leadership is a very commonly seen leadership style in which the boss or head of a company uses rewards and punishments to induce behavior. Um, this boss will say, if you achieve X, then you receive Y. Um, so this is an attempt to boost work ethic in employees. Um, so for this type of leader, it's all about the rewards and the punishments. Um, they typically wait for you to mess up something before calling you out on it. And once you mess up, they expose you in front of everyone. Um, but don't get me wrong, these leaders can affect workplaces in a positive way. It just depends on the environment. Um, so now I'm going to show you a quick clip from a workplace series TV show called The Office in which you will see the boss demonstrate a transactional leadership style. Enjoy. Andrew, I chose you for a reason. Lead these people. Show me the best numbers this place has ever seen. Last quarter we saw 4% growth. Double it. You got it. Double. Done. I'm not kidding. Neither am I. It's already done. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's going to take some time. Double. Seems like a basic reward system where you give us points and then we redeem those points for prizes. You're exactly right, and you get a point. Oh. <laughs> uh, is that a vibrator? 20 points. How does one get a point? I've outlined the exact parameters in an email, so check your spam folders, but basically, you do your job better, you get points. So, collect 15 points and redeem them for this polar bear. Why is it all kid stuff in a vibrator? It's so gross. There's lots of stuff. John Irving, Collected Works, 22 points. Or you can pool your points and redeem 55 for this maternity shirt. <clears throat> How about you want us to work harder, pay us more? I can't. This point system is really insulting. Ooh, well, I didn't mean to offend you, and I hope you'll forgive me because I am very, very sorry. 16 points. It's a tablecloth. What if we went all the way up to 500 points? Yeah, it's a crazy amount of points. But what if? Well, what do you want? I don't know, for such a crazy number, I'd like something pretty crazy. <laughs> All right, for 500 points, I will wear a dress to work. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. What about uh, for 1,000 points? I'll run naked through the parking lot with a donut on my ding-dong. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you like that? Yeah. All right, for 5,000 points, I will let you tattoo whatever you want on the stern of the old SS Bernard. Oh. Here we go. All right. Really? All right, and you are totally serious. Swear to God, hope to die. Now let's get to work. Wait, but you did say we could pool our points, right? In that case, let's get to work. Guys. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> so as you saw in that clip, um, Andy, the boss of the office, implemented a point system, which was a transactional leadership style that was meant to induce behavior of the employees and cause them to work more effectively. This, in this case, actually did work out for Andy in the end, in one way, in the way that his employees um, definitely exceeded their expectations for that day as they pulled together all of their points and um, forced Andy to do some pretty ridiculous things. So that just goes to show that the transactional leadership style actually does work in some cases, but that does not mean that it will work in all cases. Every leadership style is different, I, um, and it was very interesting to be able to see a real live example of the transactional leadership style in a TV show such as this one that um, we can all enjoy very much. So thank you very much, and that's all.